Welcome to this lesson on spooking. Now I'm here with a fantastic horse called Bond and his owner Vicky who um, it's safe to say have a lot of potential yet to be unlocked. Um, Vicky can you um, give us a really brief sort of summary of where you are with Bond and where you want to be? Um, basically I, I would love to be able to take him to some shows. He's got so much potential but we just spent all our time spooking, so I can, you know, riding a movement's impossible because he's always concentrating on something else rather than actually on what I would like him to be doing. So, you know, trying to actually get around a test is pretty impossible. <laughs> and how, how severe are these spooks? Um, they vary. Sometimes it can just be, a, you know, some tension and a sidestep. Other times he will spin out, run backwards. He's even reared sometimes. Yeah. So, so it can be, it can get fairly it extreme. Can, yeah, no, it can. Yeah. <laughs> and what sort of things might he spook at? Uh, it can be anything. A plant waving in the wind. Uh, so <laughs> can, can literally be markers in the arena. Or it, it can be any object. So Other horses coming towards him. Yeah, anything like that. Yes. Yeah. So he's not good in a warm-up either, I wouldn't imagine. Uh, no, he especially hates grey horses. <laughs> oh, does he? <laughs> yes. That's really interesting. Yes. So again, that's something we I can look at. Yeah. So Bond's been with me just under two weeks. Just under two weeks. Just under two weeks, and you know I've been getting to know him and just working through some some bits and pieces, and I can really feel. And I do sympathise with Vicky because he's such a great horse. He gets so many good moments and then next thing you know you're halfway across the arena type thing. Yes. So we're trying to just um, get that more manageable. Now the first thing that I'm going to do Vicky and we're going to demonstrate yep. and you can watch and yep. just see what you think is I'm going to just concentrate on riding forward to a point. Yes. Now when I do that you will see and I'll be chatting to the camera as I'm going around yeah. and so you can hear you know I'll be huffing and puffing and you'll hear sort of what I'm working on but I'll be pushing forward and he'll probably go oh, I can't deal with that and he'll go sideways but my focus is still on that mark over there so he'll yeah. have an outside bend after once he starts to move away from the object yeah and I allow that movement because if I block that movement too much stops going forwards. I block him yeah and he stops going forward so what this exercise is all about is forward. Yep. Okay? Yep. So let's have a look. Try look. going along here I can feel him looking ride forward there's my point K K K there we go and soften okay watch his ears he's looking at you guys but he's not too worried okay let's do another pass and have a little look okay we kept him forward I think we both need to concentrate a little more so as I'm coming around I'm thinking let's watch for tension there's a little bit of tension, but it's still soft. There it is, a little bit in the body. Think forward, forward decay, forward decay. Feels like he's going to the toilet. A little bit anxious. And we'll do one more pass. He's made a line with that poo. So we're going to see if we can get inside it. That's actually a... It was part of the plan, let's, uh, shall we say. So we're riding along now. Come along, watch his ears. They're not too hard now. I'm forward. I'll keep him soft. I'm inside the line. Keep soft. Keep forward. Good. Good. So we just, as I was trying to keep his neck soft, I'm not pulling back. I'm just riding him into it and just using that outside bend there. He's having a little look as well. Just using that outside bend just to gently just get a little give in the pole to get rid of that head up, ears out, you know, gawping expression so we're riding through again there forward forward keep going forward good okay try one more time and then I'll come back to Vicky and have a little bit of a chat about 
what she's been using with this you know to manage her spooky okay here we come again forward go now steady mate good 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 there's a little look and on and relax okay perfect okay good all right vicky that's just a, a bit of a warm-up a preliminary bit yeah what did you think of that Ah, that that was great. If I previously I'd have come around that corner, and by the time we'd got level with H, we probably would have stopped and spun round or run backwards or or done something. So yes. that, that's a major achievement. Yeah. So so you can see the difference. Yeah. Now, how have you been managing this? Um, I think I've probably been going a little bit for the traditional. Try and get them to look the other way. So and sort push of them past sort of a shoulder in. Shoulder in. Yeah. Look the other way. Yeah. Okay. Now. It's a really um, popular exercise in the dressage world for dealing with spooking. However, where I come from, in terms of my training, not, not Australia, <laughs> the, it's really difficult to do a shoulder in on a young horse that has, uh, excuse me, no education. Yes. <laughs> so they can't do a shoulder in, so I'm stuck on this horse knowing that a shoulder in is what will fix this situation yeah. however i don't have the education to do it and i would i would hazard a guess that a lot of horses that are put into shoulder in yeah. to deal with this situation aren't actually through and soft in a shoulder in at the best of times yes so <laughs> So add tension. Uh, especially, he's just locked up and rigid and I feel like I'm riding a board. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, so and that, that, all that does is makes that experience over there horrible. Horrible. Yeah. So what I'm trying to do is just stay positive. Just go forward. Yeah. And, it, you know, you're going to have a go at this, Vicky. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so um, you'll feel it sort of looks easy. You say, oh, yeah, I see what he's doing. Yeah, I can yeah. do that. Yeah. But you jump on and have a go. You've got to get a bit of a feel for it. Yep. The main thing is just stay connected. Yep. So I'm going to do, another, I'm going to do that again. I'm going to do it on the other side. Yep. And we'll see how we go. And before we lose all spookiness. Yep. Um, or, or before we move on to the next stage. Yep. Of this lesson. Um, I'll give you a ride. Yeah, brilliant. Okay. Thank you. All right, let's go again. This time we'll go this way. There it is. I'm looking back to the fence. So we got a wide berth. He's looked again at something. So I'm, you've got to be really switched on to his ears. When, you, when you're doing this. So I might be riding with a slight outside bend here and there, but it's the only reason I use the outside bend is because he's not actually going where I'd like him to go. So we'll come around here. He spotted something. Ride forward. There. Ride there, mate. There. Good. 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 Okay. So we've kept the flow up and we've stayed connected. So I've stayed connected with that inside out, albeit I've lost the shoulder, but the shoulder's the last thing. I know it's really windy guys, so bear with me. The shoulder's the last thing that I start to manage. There he is, there, good, and on. We're starting to get inside that poo again guys, which is good. Okay, we'll have one more go. And with all these things, with spooking problems, you've got to practice. You can't go to an arena and hope that they're not going to spook. You've got to put some things out that might make them look and then work through. Okay, running forward, there, forward, forward, forward. Good. My focus was on that pole just there, and I just rode to it. Okay, good. One last time, and we'll come back in and we'll 
see what Vicky's noticing. There's the ears up again, forward, so he is looking. So I'm allowing a little bit with the outside rain, but that was much softer, much, much softer. Good. Well done, mate. Ah. Yeah, so it's really important because uh, a lot of the time when a horse spooks, you tend to want to grab and pull back a little bit. I'm just steering, so I'm allowing the outside rain out and I'm steering to where I want to go. And that's the, that is the key for this exercise. All right. How did that look for you? You could see him getting better and better yeah. as we were going along. I said what I, what I really liked as well, it wasn't just that he was getting closer, but also every time he looked like he was breathing more, you know? Yeah. So it wasn't that he was just closer and still tense, he was relaxing with it as well, yeah. which I thought was really great. Yeah. And, and I, you know, I'm sort of chatting as I'm going along, but I'm obviously not picking up everything because you're yeah. sort of in the moment. But there's things that I'm sort of playing with. Sometimes he surges, yeah. he gets his head out and gets real tense like this. And I might yeah. just say, although I'm saying keep going forward, I might just say steady that forward. Yeah. Stay, stay here with me. Don't be sort of trying to bust out the front of the box, as yes. it were. Yeah. Um, I, you know, and if you're going out the side of the box, and I'm still allowing that movement because if yeah. you stop it too much, the, then you're we, blocking. We yeah. find that block causes lots more problems. Yes. Okay. So, do you notice what speed I'm doing it in? Trot. Is it, do you find that odd that I'm doing it in a trot instead of another gait? Well, I always find walk, a slower pace is easier for control. Yeah. Um, but you know, for me, I would walk past something so that I can, I feel like, you know, I, nothing moves quite as fast. <laughs> yes. And also in his head, it, nothing moves quite as fast. Yes. So that's a really interesting thing. So. You know, you come into an arena. Yeah. You know, the first thing I might do is I might have a walk around on the three-quarter line. Yeah. I wouldn't be walking around on the outside track. Yeah. Because I don't. I'm not going into the arena to scare my horse. No. I'm going into the arena just to show them. Yeah. This is this is what it is, and then we're going to get working, and I'm going to sort of assess. That's a problem there. So okay. Yep. So I need to just be a little bit softer and just ride forward past that. Yeah. Um, or actually feels really good in this part of the arena, I can actually do my dressage. Yes. You see what I mean? So yeah. you start to pick those points until you can do it, do your dressage right. all the way around the arena. Yeah. And just soften him in those points where he's a bit tense and nervous. Yeah. Um, but working on the three quarter line is really good idea. Yep. Um, yeah. And also with a trot, when you add energy, yes. what tends to happen? Everything happens faster, <laughs> and they, um, they they do. Tend to, I find he gets spookier. The faster he's going, the spookier he is. Exactly, because his mind is yeah. spinning quicker. Yeah. So he needs to learn not just to be good in a walk. Yeah. But he needs to be good in a trot, and once yeah. he's good in a trot, we need to be good in a canter. Yes. And he's got to be able to keep his mind level in all those gates and yes. stay with you, and know that if he's in trouble or if he's worried about something. The answer is to just keep pushing keep going, through, yeah. and, and you're going to allow allow that to happen. Yeah. Okay. Ready for a ride? Yep, definitely. Okay. Good point. Okay, we'll call that <laughs> just for a second, Kerry. We'll just have a break there. And I feel like we're going to need to go up we'll a few. We'll cut that there, and then we'll get Vicky on, and then we'll get her going. Yeah.